Hi guys, welcome back to Lucas 3D Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you this cool swap mod kit, the multi-plate automation add-on kit for the A1 Mini sent to me by Swap Systems. The company is based in Germany and the owner has shown a little sneak peek of his work on the Bamboo Lab forum a few months ago. I got the chance to test it out and today I'm going to show you how the kit works. If you've seen my video about the V-Spooler Mini I posted weeks ago, you could probably tell that I've used the kit to print all the parts for the spooler. So is it any good? Let's find out. So the kit that I got comes with several pre-assembled components and some printed parts. You also get the screws, some Teflon tapes to protect the heat bed, and a QR code that directs you to a web page with a very detailed instruction guide. So the first thing we need to do is to print some additional parts. So let's do that. Download the file and save that to your computer. Open the file in your slicer and you don't want to change anything in there. Just choose a plate and hit print. When you're done with the first plate, choose a second and hit print and so on and so forth. It will take around six hours to print everything. The good thing is, you can print all these parts on the A1 Mini itself. I've printed all these parts with PLA and you also want to make sure to deburr the leftover brims so you won't be having any troubles when you assemble the parts together. So before we start with the assembly, we're going to need some tools like a Phillips screwdriver and a 2mm Allen key which also comes with your A1 Mini printer. And don't worry, all the tools required to assemble the kit are listed in the guide as well. There's a step-by-step -step video instruction on how to assemble the kit, so I'm just gonna follow along here. After that we've assembled the parts, it's time to mod the plates. I have three textured PEI plates to start with. You need to mount this holder to the back of the plate. Again, I'm just gonna follow the guide here. Depending on which kit you get, you might have to print the plate holder yourself. Now the final step is to mount all these parts on the A1 Mini. The parts snap perfectly on the A1 Mini. The guide is also really well made and easy to follow. It's almost foolproof so you can't really mess it up. And the best part about this upgrade is, it doesn't require you to take your printer apart. Well if it's one thing that you need to take apart, it's this PTFE connector tube here which you can easily reinstall. That looks awesome and if I would have to do it again, I probably should have gone with a more subtle color like grey or white. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below which color combination would you choose. So before we start printing, we need to do a test to see if everything works as it should. It wouldn't print anything though, it will just unload and load the plate 10 times. The plate tray can hold up to 10 plates, but I only have 3 plates, so I'll just load the plates back on the plate tray one by one. There's also magnets at the back of the tray, so your plates will be held securely in place. So to start the test, you need to visit this website here. Download the self-test for Bamboo Studio, and if you're using the Orca slicer, you can follow the steps here. So just drag the file into the slicer and then hit print. You may want to be present when it does the test to observe if it works correctly and you can intervene if it does some funny business. My first test went really well without issues. I even did it a second time off screen because I wanted to be sure. So now comes the fun part. Let's print some cool stuff. I've always wanted to print this spinning filament swatch display by Brad FTBT 3 d and you need two plates to print this, so let's download the file and open that in our slicer. Now select slice all and select export all sliced file and slice the model. Click export all sliced file and save that to your computer. 
Now go to this website again, then drop the file on this big button here. You'll get to see the models and you can change a lot of settings here. Like for example, let's say you want to print this plate twice and only this plate, just change that to 2. If you don't want to print a specific plate, you can set the number to 0. If you want to print everything like 5 times in a loop, just go to the advanced settings and change that to 5. You can also change the order of the print. I want to print this plate first, so I'll just drag that to the left, so it will print this plate first, then this plate second. Then you want to hit the Generate Swap File button and export that to your computer. Open that file in your slicer and the first thing you'll notice is the models are all in one plate. So you will see all sorts of crazy in here if you have multiple parts on the plate. But don't worry about it too much. If you move this layer slider, you'll see that the printer will print each plate separately. So now let's load the filament and hit Print. <laughs> That went really well. The printer printed both plates in one setting and the loading and the unloading of the plates went super smoothly. Now let's test out the loop function. I'm gonna print 6 of these Gridfinity boxes plus the base and the lids for them. So let's prepare everything in our slicer, then hit export. Drag that into the generator and then I wanna select 2 here. Click generate swap file. Open that in the slicer and hit print. Next, let's print models with colored parts. But before that, let's talk about our sponsor for today's video, PCBWay. If you have a 3D printer that can print specific materials, or has a small print volume, or if you don't have a 3D printer at all, you can get PCBWay to print it for you. PCBWay offers 3D printing services and you can get them to print in any material, like resin, nylon, TPU, PC, ASA, or even metal like titanium. Just upload your model to PCBWay, specify the quantity, choose your materials and so on, and hit submit request to get your quote. PCBWay doesn't just do 3D printing, they also offer other services like all kinds of PCB services, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and so much more. So make sure to check them out and visit PCBWay.com to learn more. Now let's print these USB cable reel cases. We're gonna be needing the AMS light for this, so let's grab it and connect it to the printer. I wanna print one medium sized ones and two small ones, so let's do that and position the part so that they'll be distributed to three plates. Let's slice all plates, export all slice files and drop that in the app. Generate the swap file and open it in our slicer. Before we hit print, let's load the filaments. Now back in the slicer, hit print and select the correct filaments and send it to your printer to let it do its thing. So let's print this super adorable polar bear with sealed model designed by Amoa-chan. All the parts are spread out into 4 different plates. Since I only have 3 plates, I'm gonna have to remove the parts on the first plate when it's finished printing and load it back onto the plate tray. So I have to say that this has been a very super fun project and I'm very surprised at how flawlessly this system works. The entire process of printing the parts, assembling them, using the generator, and finally starting the printing is a great experience altogether. If you decided to get the kit, I strongly recommend that you watch the instruction guide videos first before starting with anything, so you get a clear idea of how the parts come together and how the system works. The instruction videos are very clear and easy to understand. So who is this system for? As a casual user, you might think this would be something intended only for sellers who sell 3D prints and want to have their products mass produced. Well, you might 
want to reconsider that. I've had prints that finished super late at night where I was already in bed and imagined that someone would have been around at that time to start the next print for me. While the swap mod system is designed to do exactly that. It would have saved me so much time since I wouldn't have to wait until morning to start the next print. I could have finished my model so much sooner. The swap mod is only available for A1 Mini for now. I'll leave the link to the kit in the description box below. So go check it out if you want to learn more about the product or if you're interested to get one. So if this video is helpful, make sure to leave a like. And I also appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.